Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Competitor back in today with a brand new video and as always in the title below is the topic we are talking about today. So episode 12 of ReZero, everybody. We learned a lot of things. We learned that Reem has fallen in love with Subaru. So let the love triangle begin. We learned that Reem also thinks Subaru is cute whenever he, he's joy riding on a wagon. And we also learned that that's the reason why, well, Amelia didn't want his ass to come. But none of those were as, as important as finding out there's a fifth candidate for becoming the queen. Royalty. Being a leader of the capital. And that fifth candidate was Felt. As soon as I said that, honestly, I was thinking, is it Tuvaru? Is it Tuvaru? And we also found out that there's a tombstone of the dragon. I don't know if he's sealed inside the tombstone. And the engraving marks can change. The script, the script, excuse me, can be rewritten. I don't know what that's all about. Cause I was thinking it's Subaru. Subaru ended up being the fifth candidate. It's like, oh, that'd be that, that'd come out of freaking nowhere. Since especially since he's wearing well a suit right there in the crowd, and he wasn't even supposed to come. But we find out Reinhardt. That's the reason why Reinhardt took felt in the first place. But how did Reinhardt decide that she was a candidate? I feel like this is just more of a mere whim. I think this is a facade that Reinhardt's putting on. I feel as if he's doing this for a certain reason. And I hope, I hope we find out more about this and how they decide who's a candidate and who's not. Because she didn't have an extinct insignia. She stole the insignia. So from Amelia actually. So I'm just, I'm just kind of confused. And maybe that in Rom's return, Rom, old man Rom's return, and maybe that place in whatever Rom said was Austria. Oh, Austria of all people took her, huh? He said some, some along those lines, you know. Didn't quote that perfectly, but yeah, it kind of gives us a little hint there. And I'm glad they're implementing these characters from the past back in. But the orange haired girl Priscilla, I believe her name was, ends up being the reason, or well, the key of Subaru getting in. And I don't know why she necessarily wanted Subaru to get in. Maybe it's because she knew he's with Amelia, and obviously he started. She, cut, you know, got on his arm, put her breast up against his arm. Whenever Amelia came up, and Subaru's like, "No, please don't. You're gonna give her the wrong idea." I was like, "She's gonna break Subaru's heart." And we saw what happens whenever <sighs> something's wrong with, well, well, when Subaru thinks something is wrong with his love life, such as the pink-haired guy or purple-haired guy. What, what's the Julius? I believe his name is. <sighs> yeah, I thought I thought he was gonna start a fight. I knew he was gonna lose that son of a bitch, but I, I thought he was gonna do it. And Reinhardt's like, Subaru, what are you doing? He's like, this is the this is one's face. This is one, that no, excuse me, this is one's face that they make whenever they finally see a love rival. And I think I totally butchered that, but it's okay. It's okay. Actually, said so this is the face one makes whenever he has met a love rival. But this new character, Priscilla, you can definitely tell she thinks anyone below her is nothing special. I really, I really want to know her background, where she comes from, and all the can candidates kind of seem like pieces of shit. Well, besides, I uh, thought was a, you know, uh, felt was a thief, but she passes. She's all right. I like her. And of course, Amelia is goddess of awesomeness and kindness. So yeah. She's cool too, but <laughs> what was really interesting, whenever the Miserere, the old man, and that one cat, well, guy, I almost said girl, it's a, it's, it's a guy, yeah, it's a guy. <laughs> uh, I thought it was Puck at first, I was like, is that Puck all grown up? What the hell is that? But if that old man used to be a demon slayer, I believe she said, she said something along the lines of demon slayer, and she's like, why, why were you even conversating with him? Usually you're more the chop your head off, something like that kind of guy. And he says he's grown, he grew he grew fond of him. And then everybody grows fond of Subaru, just like we did. The words he says, he's like a wise little man, really, when it comes down to it. But he acts like a kid <laughs> at the same time. So he says he he has the eyes. The eyes of someone who has died many times. So I'm wondering if he knows Subaru's secret. I mean, that's kind of pl that's playing this day, saying, yeah, he... He knows Subaru has died many times, so he knows something's up. But I just, I just don't understand that. Because that guy, that would mean that guy's very, very into the. He knows a lot about the Jealous Witch's curse and just dark things in, in general. Because you know he's a demon slayer for that fact, which is kind of convenient. Because I just got done with part of the fairy tale, uh, first four episodes of the last twelve, and it goes into a demon slayer, which. Yeah, it's just convenient. But as always, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Hex25. And I think I'll see you guys again next time.